Okay, so now here's the million dollar question with the Motorola Zoom. How good are the apps? Uh, well, I guess it's the 599 question. So as you can see, Google has done a nice job with a lot of its own apps. You know, YouTube has a pretty cool um, 3D video wall, and it's easy to discover videos and start playing them. And you can also output them over HDMI. <clears throat> um, but what about third-party apps? So you can see here, Angry Birds actually scales nicely to this display despite the fact that it wasn't designed for tablets per se. You know, you can... I have a lot of practice, as you can see. <coughs> so, I mean, that's actually, you know, fairly fairly good experience. Other apps actually aren't that well optimized for tablets. You know, here's Pandora, for example. Like on the iPad, there's a special tablet interface, and it's an HD app. Here you can see that the uh, well, the album art should be loading, but it's usually tucked up here in the left-hand corner. And it's just sort of a low-fidelity experience, but what's good is, is the sound quality. And as we had mentioned before, you can access the music pretty quickly from the system bar. So that, that's, that's a pretty nice experience, but it's definitely not a tablet-optimized app. What is, if you click through here, is CNN. Here's one of the examples that you're going to find in the Android market, and we'll show you that in a second. But you can tell based on this tile-based interface, you know, the high-resolution artwork, uh, the easy to navigate, it's like definitely sort of like a dual panel thing going on with all the categories down the left-hand side. Um, it's very uh, integrated with video, as you can see here. Uh, and you can also even do your own reports. So you can capture photos, capture videos, and submit your reports to CNN. So this is an example of of a good tablet app for Android 3.0. In terms of games, to show off the Tegra 2 processor inside this device, you're going to find you know, a decent number of 3D games to start, but we have some problems with some of the titles so far. You know, so for example here, instead of having the controls all in one place, you have to move left and right um, with these you know, controls on different sides, and it gets confusing pretty quickly. Um, but the visuals are good, so obviously there's a good foundation here for uh, 3D games on Android 3.0. We would just like to see more uh, high quality titles coming out from name brands that people know. So where are you going to find all these applications? You're going to find them in the, the revamped market place, which includes not only apps, but books. So there's some nice integration there. We'd like to see some other things like videos and music added, but uh, maybe we're asking for too much. So you'll see that there's a division between Android apps and uh, top free uh, Android apps for tablets and overall apps. So like most of these will be phone apps. And hopefully, you know, we'd like to see the selection of apps for tablets uh, definitely grow, but you can see all the categories down the right. You see this, uh, you know, featured apps scrolling along the top. So it's definitely slick, and, and, and Google has done a nice job. So people who buy the uh, Motorola Zoom will certainly won't, you know, be lacking for for choices. Uh, it, but I, you know, but I think that's going to be over time. Right now, the as of the time of this review, Google is updating the the market. So even though there should be 41, 41 results here, we're only seeing three. So we expect it'll probably be maybe you know less than 50 apps at launch. Uh, Pulse is a newsreader that we've already tried. Android Androidify is just creating your own avatar. Um, so you know we definitely think that Android 3.0 has a long way to go to catch up to the iPads 50,000 plus apps. But they're off to a good start in terms of the quality of the apps. We'd just like to see better games.